How would you like to make an eye-catching YouTube intro that requires zero technical skills? And that takes literally five minutes to make. Then stay tuned because in this video we will go through step by step how you can create an amazing professionally made YouTube intro without the hassle. So let's go. Hey, what's up guys? The Stark Expand here with howtoeditvideos.com where we make video editing simple and easy for anyone. Today we will walk you through the steps on how you can easily create your own YouTube intro in minutes and not hating the thing in the end. We will also take a look at the pricing options from free to paid, how to get the most out of the platform and how to implement your freshly made intro in a video editor for an amazing finished result why you need an intro video. First and foremost, it's to establish your brand identity or solidify your already existing brand. It's to build awareness, what people can expect from you and helps you stand out from the competition. Awareness leads to new followers, more views, more clicks and traffic. And traffic is something that we all want and need in our business. First step, Click the How to Edit Videos website link in the description below to open up the platform that we will be using in conjunction with this video. This will take you to RenderForest, an all-in-one branding platform where we'll be creating our videos. This site is amazing not only for intros, but also for a bunch of other types of videos, making logos, websites and anything brand and awareness related. It's perfect for anyone wanting to establish themselves online long term. Next step, sign up for a 100% free account with an email address of your choice. This will make sure that anything that we create will be saved in your account for revision and download later on. Now this step is optional, but RenderForest will prompt you to create an account when you're ready to export your videos. So you might as well just create an account right away to save the hassle. Third step, head over to the create a video section by clicking the create a video over here and click intros and logos. This will take you to the page where they have every possible YouTube introduction you can imagine. And what you can do over here is to hover your mouse over each of these videos to get a quick playback of how the introduction looks. And you will just have to go through these and see what fits your brand and your style. Perhaps you want something clean and minimal, quick, or perhaps you're a gamer who wants a nice introduction with flames and stuff going on. So you just need to go through all of these and select one that you like to work with. And a tip you can do is to click the newest because RenderForest continuously updates their platform with new content. So for this tutorial, we will be using the first one here, Evolving Sketch Logo Reveal. It's a nice blend between professionalism and something quick and nice going on. Here you can preview the whole thing or just click Create Now to get started. And that's what we're going to do. Now their editor is very simple. Over here you will see what they need from you. They want you to upload a logo, preferably in PNG of course, to get the transparent background and any text that you need to fill in. And you don't have to fill in these texts if you don't want to, if you only want to showcase your logo brand. Now regarding the logo, if you already have a brand, you just upload your PNG over here. Me, for example, I have it in my media library because I made my logo in Render Forest. So you click on it and click insert. This will take you to this page where you can adjust your logo so that it fits within the borders. And you click done. Now, for those who don't have a logo, you can also click here and click create logo. This will take you to 
the Render Forest logo maker and I have a video on how to use this one, how to create a logo, so check it out if you are interested. Other than that, we'll fill in some text over here, the main tagline, uh, making video editing easy. Save. You can also head over to style and see what kind of variations they have of the same introduction. They have a vertical, a circle kind of thingy and something with a black style. So I will go with this one because I like that. We can also add a music to our logo. Uh, most likely you will want to use your own music, but if you don't have any, you can add on from here. Sure, we can take this one, it sounds good. And then we go to preview and here we always click the low quality preview first for a quick render to see that everything looks good. If it looks good, then we can make a high quality export of it. Now your video is in queue, so you don't need to have this page open. You can close it down if you want to and come back later. But I usually just leave it and take a coffee or something. All right, so our video is done rendering and we can check how it turned out. I'll just turn down the volume quick. Yeah, very nice. Uh, the thing with this one is that my logo had text besides it. So that's why it didn't turn out exactly like in the preview template. But we can go back and edit this and just see how it turns out. So we'll just go do a quick rendering of just the logo. All right, so take two for our creation. Yeah, it became so much better with just the logo itself and no text besides it. So this is illustrating a great point on why you need to do a low resolution render before you do a export in high definition. All right, so this is the point where Render Forest stops being free and goes over to paid. And I will show you what I mean. So we just created our video and we can download it in low quality resolution for free with a watermark on the side. But anyway, no one uses a 360p resolution in their videos. It just gives a bad branding image. As you can see, I've done plenty of videos in full HD and how Render Forest works is through a credit system. So everything is open and free to use on this platform, which is great. You don't have to go through a free trial. You just have to do stuff. It's when you want to publish or download your stuff in a high quality version that you need to have a plan. And you can choose from amateur, pro and popular. This is the yearly subscriptions. They of course become a bit more expensive if you go for monthly. And what you get is for the popular plan, 30 credits per month to use for exporting 1080p high quality videos or 60 videos in 720p. We get unlimited logos in every type of quality mockups fifth of them per month so if you're a heavy user and you get the premium free website now what i did was that i jumped on the popular plan for a monthly payment and i just went ham with all the videos all the intros and what you can do is that you can create everything that you want on this platform and then you will get a feel for what type of plan that will suit you. If you see that you will create new intros or videos, or if you're planning to have a website on their platform for a long time, that will dictate which subscription plan you should consider. I like this pro plan because they have a mix of both full HD videos per month, four of them, and 20, a bit lower quality, 
we get our logos, we get our mockups, and we get a premium website. So this is the best bang for the buck according to me, paying yearly, it's worth every penny. So in order to determine which plan may be suited for you, I did a little experiment where I exported full HD video for a intro and a slightly lower resolution in 720 just to see what the difference is and we will check them out side by side right now to see how they look. I'm just going to organize these clips a bit, 720p to the left and 1080p to the right. Taking off the sound. So let's compare them side by side. 3, 2, 1. So as you can see, it's a minor, minor difference between 1080p and 720p. And to be honest, for doing a YouTube introduction that will last between 5 to 15 seconds, I think you will be alright with 720p videos, which will mean that the amateur plan will be just as good as the pro plan for you. It will mostly depend on how many videos you want to crank out per month, how long videos you are doing. If you're only doing YouTube intros, then this will be fine. If you want to use their other features for making the editing videos, then you will need to up to the pro plan or even the popular plan, of course. All right, as promised, I will show you how to implement our freshly made YouTube intro into a video editor. All right, so our YouTube introduction is done. It's amazing. You can find it under your videos in your account. And depending on what type of subscription plan you signed up for, you either export it in 720p or 1080p. You can play it here in your account to see how it turned out. And you can hit download to save it down to your computer. Now the next step is to import your freshly made YouTube introduction into your video editing software. Me, myself, I use WeVideo and I will link somewhere here on the screen my review and tutorial of this specific software. But if you already have one, just go ahead with your favorite video editing software. I will now import our file for editing. As you can see, it is uploading and we can just drag it in and start editing it right away. And it's amazing. If you have any questions in making a YouTube intro, please drop a comment and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. And also, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way possible, punch the like button and consider subscribing if you like this type of content. See you guys in the next video.